Welcome, I am Mr. The Rich and I am here today to talk to you about a recent development in Blender, uh, namely the filmic Blender. Um, it's made by Troy Sobotka and it basically changes the way Blender deals with color management and makes it more uh, realistic. If we go to the settings here uh, on the side in the color management panel and the views, we see these different uh, options and they are different than the default one. And the sRGB you can see here is uh, the same as the default one in the, in Blender currently. Uh, if we increase the exposure, you can see that uh, the areas get quite saturated and this is not how real cameras work. Uh, when things get wider and lighter, overexposed in uh, photos, things uh, desaturate and turn more towards white. So if you reset the values and then uh, change it to a filmic log encoding uh, over here, we can, uh, oh, we first have to change uh, the look and put it to a base contrast. And not much has changed, but if we increase the exposure now we can see that everything becomes more desaturated and more towards white even if we increase the gamma uh, we get no oversaturation here going on and this is quite neat and gives us way more realistic result well there's one problem though uh, i am i'm having with this because the old uh, film look made popular by artists like uh, renante martinez or Gleber alexandrov is missing and I found a way to bring it back while keeping new options available. If we open up Explorer, uh, we can see here the backup I made of the original files. And if we now go to the current color management folder, we see this conge file over here and uh, the folder called looks. And those are the new options. If we open up the conge file, uh, we see the file created by uh, Troy. Um, which has all the new settings and the new options inside. If we scroll down a bit, we see the four options that are currently available to us listed here. And I have made a separate file, the link is in the description, and with some extra settings. And we copy this sentence and paste it just below the filmic log option. It's called retro film. And then we have to copy this bigger part and scroll down a bit and paste it just below uh, the linear linear options. Uh, make sure that the uh, indentation is uh, good because uh, otherwise it won't work. And if we reopen Blender and reopen the scene, we can now see uh, that in the options there is an extra option available, namely the retro film, which is the one we just added. It gives us this uh, beautiful, high contrast, the old look uh, to the image. And if we increase the gamma a bit, you see the cursed blacks really pop out. And the settings, we might have set it to uh, low contrast because we don't want to go overboard. And I really, I love this. And if we add some curves, we can really play with the colors. It just looks so antique. I love it. And if we increase exposure, you can see that we still have the benefit of uh, the desaturation going on uh, when we get really bright, and that's what we really want. Now you can see in the settings that there are only these uh, few options, and all the other uh, big list of options is gone from the old uh, the old build. Um, but they're actually still there. If you go to LUTs and a film response, you can see the whole list here. It just needs to be activated. So if we uh, go to our backup folder and we open our uh, old config file here, scroll down a bit, uh, all the way to where it says looks. Uh, and everything below that, uh, we're going to select it uh, all the way to the bottom. You can use uh, Control and for this. And we copy it over and uh, paste it at the bottom of the uh, new file and we have to make sure though uh, let's select everything we just uh, added uh, that the indentation is correct because otherwise it won't load and if we reopen uh, blender and we, we select our uh, tutorial file um, we can now see that 
the list is huge and all the old options are here again uh, they just work uh, with the new filmic blender and uh, you can scroll through them like you could always could and create some beautiful uh, imagery uh, I really like this uh, this yellowy one that's adjusted a bit so it's not too uh, saturated it uh, gives a warm nice color so uh, thanks for checking out this tutorial I hope I helped you out a bit um, let's make a new awesome stuff with this uh, filmic blender show the world your imagination <laughs>